We're gonna go to the back country and we're gonna go on horseback and pack some mules in. So we're gonna go back for three nights, do some fishing, kind of show these guys uh, a bit of our backyard. Uh, I'm Seth Blackamore. Uh, I live in the Eastern Sierra. I grew up coming up here on family vacations. Even though we're down at the beach and we're always going to the beach, that was always like the week that I looked forward to. You know, at the moment I moved here, I felt like I was coming home and this was always my dream to fly fish these mountains in the back country and explore and see what's over the next mountain and pursue the coveted golden trout. They're not a, a species you can just drive up to a roadside water, drive up to a lake and get out of the car and fish. So you gotta go earn it. When we finally got this trip on the books and he told me immediately, start training, dude, start training. I mean, we're at 11 to 12,000 feet here. The only way to do that around Washington is to climb Mount Rainier and climbing Mount Rainier isn't exactly a training mission, <laughs> so. I kind of knew I might fall in love with this place. I love what altitude, like, means like you've worked pretty hard to be up there and also to just be in this giant granite basin where you can just see lakes basically as far as your eyes can see i was blown away but these mountains have a way of really making you feel small and challenging you and there's times i'll go to these lakes and a storm will roll in and i'll just kind of hunker down and sometimes not even fish and walk out and be like, that was cool, all good, still feeling full. Seth is a character, man. I mean, he's telling us like where he'd get off of work at five o'clock and then just run up the pass. I mean, literally run with a pack on his back to go explore and find new water. I have a huge amount of respect for Seth and I admire that dedication to the landscape and I really want to, I like aspire to that in a certain, in my own life, in my own backyard. And he had a cache of whiskey up there. I mean, how special is that? Properly aged, one year. Net, still got the seal A on. 2021 it's like, vintage. Oh, shit, go, <laughs> Just for you guys, man. Just for you guys. What's a fishing trip without extra whiskey? <laughs> oh, man. That's the one we're looking for. 12 feet down, 10, 12 feet down, just shot up like a rocket for the hopper stopped inches from it, went down to the dropper, stopped, didn't like that, turned and just annihilated the hopper again. Those fish are so much t more technical than I thought they were gonna be. They're, They're so, picky. so damn they, use, they can be very opportunistic Yeah, with the right presentation. And then like you saw yesterday, <laughs> they just shut off. That was yeah, like a full know. five hours where we didn't, I didn't see anything rising. There was nothing. Day yeah, one, brutal. we walked out here Made a couple casts, easily caught some fish. I was like, oh my gosh, it's on. And then day two, I was thinking, oh, this is just going to be a slam dunk right easy, here. Easy peasy. And we could not <laughs> buy a bite. Mm -hmm. We're seeing fish presenting perfect presentations. Refusal, refusal, refusal. And that's when you go, okay, <laughs> what's up right now? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I went to bed last night going, oh man, like... It's gonna be one of those trips because I've had trips like that where they just refusal mode. And it was so refreshing to go to a new place and just see right off the bat, take, take, yeah. take, take. That was the day that we went and explored water that Seth had never seen before. 
for me, that was like, that was easily the most special moment of the trip was just being able to see, see water that Seth was seeing for the first time as well. Like we were all exploring something new. Some risers down there. I wasn't sure if this place held fish, so this is <laughs> a good sign. <laughs> oh, look at that fish! <laughs> to know that, like you, you were saying earlier, like, man, you're probably casting at a fish that has maybe seen a fly, but probably not, you know, ever. Yeah. So cheers to that, cheers, guys. Absolutely. Cheers. Oh, I found a fork. <laughs> I'm keeping that. It's a titanium. <laughs>